Hi, I'm David Lombardo for AIN TV, and we're here at MD Helicopters where Universal Avionics has developed a new flight deck specifically designed to keep a helicopter pilot safer and lower his workload. Flying a helicopter is a very complex operation. It takes a lot of the pilot's uh, attention, uh, attention to control movements, and we wanted to come up with a way to make the pilot's job simpler when it comes to managing the display systems in the cockpit. So uh, I think that the next generation cockpit that we're developing for the MD Explorer uh, achieves that goal with uh, some, uh, some point and click technology that I'd like to show you how it uh, performs. The premise is that the pilot will have a collective mounted uh, control, cursor control uh, on the collective that will allow him to, uh, to move a cursor on the displays so it'll be under his thumb at all times. He won't be having to move his head, look for a control, focus on that control. And, and those are the kinds of things that have uh, capability of introducing vertigo. So the process of having that cursor under his thumb on the control where he knows where it is, where he's accustomed to it, and simply moving his eyes from looking out the windscreen to looking at the displays and moving that cursor to make selections will, will really have a, a dramatic impact on how it manages the systems in the helicopter. The system will allow him to make changes to, uh, to the multifunction display to display or not display secondary engine parameters that are, uh, that are often dark and quiet when things are normal, but if you'd like to look at those uh, with a simple click, you can turn those on. It'll allow him to change the format of the displays. So we have basically three uh, display formats, a, a half and half format, uh, a 50-25 split format, and a full screen format of the multifunction display, and he can make those changes with a point and click operation on the display. Within each of those windows in the formats, he can use point and click to change the content of those. And when he uses map displays, he can use point and click to display different map layers and what, what contents is presented on a map to really uh, declutter and show him the information he wants to see at that point during the flight. On the PFD, the same cursor can be moved onto the PFD and used on the PFD to uh, control uh, setting a barrow set, for example, or changing the A-cell, or changing the indicated airspeed selections, again with a point and click move a cursor philosophy to uh, make those selections. The whole purpose of this is again to keep the pilot focused on hands-on, heads up, in control, and allow a, a really safer operation so that uh, disorientation doesn't happen. We want to make things clear and, and simple and intuitive to the pilot to really add safety to the operations.